<laughs> I'm pretty sure I earned these. I mean, if you really want to get down to, to brass tacks that you're sitting on. Hi, right, you guys. About this. I got entertainment for you. Let's do it! Entertainment. I am entertained by the following. Guess who's doing a cameo in the um, in Hangover 2? Oh. Talk um, about typecasting. Liam Neeson? No. Well, Bill Clinton. Clinton. Bill Clinton, Clinton is doing a cameo appearance in, in Hangover 2. But Liam Great. Neeson's also Yes. Talk about Liam Neeson's going to be in it? He took Mel Gibson's role. They had originally uh, asked oh, Mel, Gibson, Mel Gibson, but he complained about every race ever that's not white, and the Catholic Church post Vatican II, so they kind of shuffled Mel away. That's right. You know, they, as they said, yeah, they won't have an anti-Semite, but they will have a rapist. Right. When you have Tyson in the first Mike movie, Tyson. Yeah, a violent a, a rapist, sexual abuser and, and rapist. For, and for all intents and purposes, racist. I yeah. mean, when you, when you look at some of the things he says, the guy's basically, he's like, white people hate me. Ha, 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 deathly quick. Who and the then, hell is Caitlin Burke or Caitlin Burton? I have no idea. I've got a good feeling about this. I have no idea what the hell that is. Is she naked? Dino De Laurentiis died. Uh, that's, was that the dinosaur The remake one? of King Kong. I need a really oh. big of Kong. Oh, okay. The okay, one with okay. Jeff Bridges oh, and uh, yes. Jessica Lange. Yes. Made, it was, a, oh, it was an awful movie. Okay. It was. That was Oh God! I've seen God's. I've seen Godzilla movies that look more realistic than this King Kong movie. But it did make Jessica Lange a, a star. It, it, it brought her to sure. All right. Uh, have you seen Client Nine? Client Number Nine. You mean Elliot Spitzer? Who's Dino De Dino De Laurentiis did Client Nine: The Rise and Fall of Elliot Spitzer. Yeah. He no. produced it. Oh no 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 he didn't. Somebody else did. Um, it's just right after I misread that. Do you know the other did movies like Serpico? Yes. King Kong, Three Days of the Condor, Hannibal. Mm -hmm. Those are Dino De productions. His granddaughter or something has a cooking show on HGTV or the Home Network or Inspiration or something like that. Paula Dean? No, 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 no. <laughs> Paula Dean. No, she, this girl looks, this young woman actually looks as if she moderates the amount of food she eats. She's actually very trim and perky and all this kind of stuff. Rachel Ray? No, no. Her name is De Laurentiis. Oh. I can't remember her first name. I thought you were talking about somebody who designed shoes. It's just really interesting to me that there's a there's a um, um, a documentary somebody did out there called Client Nine: The Rise and Fall of Elliot Spitzer. Now I've said nice things about Elliot Spitzer. Have you seen him on uh, Parker and Spitzer? I won't make the jokes right now that I've made before about. about Good call. Yeah. Thank you. I love those jokes, but because uh, actually I thought I thought Elliot Spitzer uh, really set aside his personal. I mean, his political uh, leanings, and gave a very good, I think, um, analysis of that Christine O'Donnell uh, commercial she did, mm -hmm. where uh, where Parker seems to be like bending all over. She's the supposed conservative, of course, bending she's all over stuff to impress upon people how do, how creepy she finds Christine O'Donnell. She's the CNN approved conservative. Yeah, the CNN approved conservative, and uh, and and uh, uh, Elliot Spitzer goes. Actually, I thought it was a great ad. I thought it was very effective, especially that live shoot when she says, "You want to know what I'm going to do if I get to Washington? I'm going to do what you would do." He said, "He thought that was a great line. I'm going to conjure up evil spirit." That's right. Whoa. It's not going to win her the election, no. yeah, but it was a very good political ad. So I thought, well, I like the fact that he can he can actually step back because I also thought it was a very good ad as well. I also thought she had no chance of. <laughs> she did have a, you know, it does take a certain amount of self-discipline to distance yourself from politics like that and be able to look at something objectively. Objectively, which I thought he I did. I think he didn't actually possess that until he was caught as client number nine. Well, no, because, well, you got to remember, like we always talk about some of these people, they play their audience. Sure. Right? They play sure. their audience, and that's know. what he was doing. I don't know if this show would have worked had he not been client number nine. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, and here's the thing. He would have still been governor. Well, he would have been governor, but let's say he was not elected governor again. Let's say he, he lost the election, and CNN's looking for a, a liberal to counterbalance a conservative. I don't know if Elliot Spitzer is reasonable well, enough without having his ass handed to him well, publicly. Well, of course he's had his... But you know what? I've got a hand up there. He, he took his medicine, and... Sure, he, yeah. And if he asked me, as far as that's concerned, he learned his lesson. I think Elliot Spitzer fully realizes he has no chance of a political career again. Nope. This is the next step for him. And I'm sure Mrs. Spitzer has probably kicked his ass out of the house by now. If not, I have no respect for her. Uh, but Angelina was his favorite. Whoever that woman was that he was seeing, that everybody was talking about, that wasn't his favorite. 
There was someone else. There's really? a woman named Angelina that was his favorite. One he always went to. You ever hear of Onion News headlines? Yeah. Onion News. I love Onion News headlines. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Department of Education study finds teaching these little shits not worth it. <laughs> 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 I think that's a terrible headline. They're the Onion is hilarious. They're, ador they're adorable. It is funny. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Oprah invites hundreds of lucky fans to be buried with her in massive tomb. And you're going to be buried with me. And you're you're going to be buried, buried with me. And you're going to be buried with me. Everybody's buried with Oprah. All right, and try this. Rural South Dakota man walks away from first encounter with Jewish man. Shaken, but unharmed. <laughs> 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 picture some young boy like, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell is a lock? <laughs> I I love this one. A poll finds majority of male voters would have voted for a naked woman. I'm sorry, I'm kind of with them on that one. Uh, yeah, I got it. What? That's what She's that got a hell of a lot more for me than anybody else has. That should have been the end of the Christine O'Donnell act. That's right. I'm not a witch. It, it, it pan so away. Yeah, I'm naked. I'm naked. I'll vote for her. Yeah. Okay. O'Donnell. She gets the vote. Okay. Oh, nipples. Donald. Uh, whatever her name is. Yeah, oh, nipples. Managing editor. Barely managing. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the headline of a lot of newspapers these days. If I have one piece of advice for today's youth, it's learn how to throw a baseball really, really well. Roy Halladay. <laughs> Is after he signed that multi-million dollar contract. Well, what should we do about that one? How should be successful? Really learn how to throw a baseball. Work for me. Yeah. How about this? Chicago Mercantile Exchange selling rain futures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. joke for the nerds among us. Well, you know, I've been thinking we just don't have enough humor in this thing. Listen, we're going to be right back with another segment of ColbertRadio.com.